Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Srinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. In this video, I will talk about physical chemistry. Just like physics, in physical chemistry, you have to understand the concept properly and solve as many problems as you can so that you know how to approach a particular problem and you will get familiar with many problems. There's my number one tip. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe and like this video. By this, I can get to know if these videos are being helpful for you or not. If you haven't watched my video on tips to score more in physics, please do watch it. As most of those tips are valid for physical chemistry, it will be of much help for you in physical chemistry. Let's start with first starter, that is some basic concept in chemistry. And usually they ask one to two questions from this chapter. In this chapter, you have to focus more on laws, that is law of conservation of mass. This particular law will be very helpful if you are stuck in balancing a reaction and Avogadro's law, law of multiple proportion, definite proportion, etc. You have to be thorough with each and every law. Focus on stoichiometry and limiting reagent. These concepts can be confusing, so be thorough with it. And most important concept in this chapter is mole concept. You have to be thorough with molarity, molality, mole fraction, mass percentage. This will be helpful for you in solutions chapter 2. So be thorough with all these concepts. Next chapter is structure of atom. As I have mentioned in physics video, this chapter will be repeated in physics 2. If you interconnect those chapter and read it together, you can understand this concept better and save time. But there are some concepts which are unique in chemistry that is orbitals and they shape different quantum numbers. You have to focus on principle for filling of orbitals that is off boss principle, Pauli's exclusion principle, etc. Be thorough with all these concepts. Next chapter is states of matter. Here are concepts like different laws of gaseous state that is Charles law, Boyle's law, ideal gas equation. All these are repeated in kinetic theory of gases in physics too. So you can interconnect these concepts and understand it even better and save time. Here in chemistry, you have to focus more on deviation of real gas from ideal gas, liquidation of gases, physical properties of liquid that is viscosity, surface tension, vapor pressure, etc. And for this chapter, you have to focus on theory too. So please go through NCRT once. Next one is thermodynamics. This chapter is important in both physics and chemistry. As I have mentioned in my previous video, there are some difference in concepts and science in chemistry and physics. So make a note of these differences. Here in chemistry, you have to focus on thermodynamic processes, enthalpy change for different reaction and gives free energy. Next chapter is equilibrium. This is most important and vast chapter in chemistry. Two to three question comes from this chapter usually like one question from chemical equilibrium and two questions from ionic equilibrium. And calculation from this chapter can be tricky and confusing. So practice more and get an idea on how to approach a particular problem. Have a clear idea about variation of equilibrium constant by altering the reaction. Focus on Lee Chatelier's principle and have an idea about relationship between equilibrium constant and Gibbs free energy coming to ionic equilibrium. Here you have to focus more on acid and bases, their ionization, pH, buffer solution and hydrolysis of salts. Have a look into the supplementary material at the end of the textbook. There they have mentioned a formula for calculating pH of buffer solutions. Next chapter is solid state. This chapter is a bit easier. Here you have to use logic and imagination to be good in this chapter. And for this chapter, you have to focus on theory too. Question from this chapter will be a bit easier. So please don't neglect this chapter. Next chapter is solutions. For this chapter, you have to focus on theory and formulas. 
if you are good in theory and formulas you can easily solve the problems from this chapter next one is electrochemistry this is an important chapter in plus 2 physical chemistry as i told earlier this chapter is connected with equilibrium and redox reaction in fact all the chapters in chemistry are interconnected so please don't neglect any chapters as i have been telling from past videos whether a chapter is difficult for you or easy for you please don't neglect any chapter as a whole there will be some easy concept even in difficult chapters please understand the basic easier concept in those difficult chapters even if a easier question comes from this you can easily solve those questions and get marks here you have to focus on Nernst equation and relationship between Nernst and equilibrium constant conductance molar conductivity and in electrolysis you have to focus on what products are formed at particular electrode last concept in this chapter is batteries focus on different types of battery last chapter in physical chemistry is chemical kinetics this is an easier chapter and here you have to focus more on first order and zero order reactions you have to be thorough with rate constant equation half time equation graph of first order and zero order reactions and make a note of the effect of temperature on reactions and take a look into the graphs of activation energy and all at the end of this chapter thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel and if i have missed anything feel free to comment and suggest me thank you have a great day